everyone so today we are looking at lead code number 707 it's a question called design a linked list okay and this this question can seem a little intimidating because there's a lot going on here uh, it's also somewhat frequently asked but I think it's a good data structure to be really familiar with because it is used a lot in a, a lot of other contexts um, we're going to we're going to approach this using a doubly linked list. You can do this as a singly linked list, um, but I think it's good to just practice implementing a doubly linked list and it's not too bad. The main strategy with this question is being very clear on what you want each one of these methods to do and just being very meticulous. It's not very complicated, but it's easy to have bugs in, when you when you approach a question like this because there's just a lot of moving parts. But we'll go through it step by step. Uh, okay, so the first thing we want to do, first thing I'm going to do here is we'll just go back and forth from the conceptual because I think it'll be easier to explain everything that way. I'm going to first get rid of this, um, this syntax here and use the class syntax. So we'll do uh, class my linked list. Okay, we'll have a constructor. And uh, I won't, I won't fill anything in yet. We'll just fill in our methods. So let's just get the scaffolding up. So we'll have our get, which will take an index. We're going to have an add at head, which will take um, a value. OK, we're going to have an add at tail, which will also take a value. Um, we're going to have an add at index, which will take in an index and a value. And we, were, we are also going to have a delete at index, which is going to take an index. Okay, and then what we're also going to do is we're going to have a node class that we're going to implement in this linked list and I'll go over a little um, how we're going to how we're going to do that and why that's important so I'm just going to create a class node with a constructor and what we're going to have here is this is going to take a value which will default to null a previous which will default to null and a next which will also default to null and then we'll just go ahead and put in our this.val is going to equal val, this.prev is going to equal prev, and this.next is going to equal next. Okay, and so what we want to do now is when we instantiate our my linked list, we want to have a, a separate node for the head and a separate node for the tail that is going to point to our actual values. Okay, so what we're going to do here is on the instantiation, we're going to create a new node that's going to be our head node. It's going to have a next pointer that points to another node, which is going to be our tail node. Okay, there's no value on these nodes. And this tail node's previous is going to point to that head. And the next is going to point to null. And the previous on here is going to point to null. Okay, so that's what we're going to instantiate. It's almost like a sandwich. The, the values the nodes that hold values are going to be sandwiched in between a head node and a tail node that is just pointers. I mean, they're, they're just there to keep track of everything. They're not going to hold any values. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to instantiate is a length variable, and we'll set that to zero. Okay, so that's the first thing we want to do is go ahead and instantiate the head and tail to a new node. Okay, so we'll say this.head is going to equal new node, and this.tail is going to equal new node. Okay, and then this.length is going to equal zero. Now, what we need to do is we have to understand that when we are instantiating these new nodes here, the previous and the next are uh, at null. So we want to connect our head to our tail and our tail to our head. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say this.head.next is going to equal this.tail and this.tail.prev is going to equal this.head. So all we're doing here is we're creating this, this head node here 
and this tail node here, the pointers are pointing to null, and what we're doing is we're connecting those pointers. We're saying this dot tail dot prev is going to point to head, and this dot head dot next is going to point to tail. And then these are instantiated to null when we uh, create those nodes because we didn't set them to anything. And the length is at zero. So that's the first thing we want to do is just create that scaffolding. Okay, now we want to check the get method. And the get method is get the value of the indexed at the indexed node of the, in the linked list. If the value is invalid, return minus one. So let's take care of that invalid case first. So if idx is less than zero or idx is uh, greater than or equal to this dot length, what do we want to do? We want to just return minus one. Okay, so that takes care of, of the case where the index input will be out of range. Okay, so now what do we want to do? We want to get that, that value at that index. So we have to traverse through our list. So what we want to do is go ahead and create our um, a variable and set it to our current node. So we can say let cur node and just set it to this.head.next, okay? Because whatever's gonna be on our list, the head is gonna be the previous. The next one over is actually going to be the current node. And now we can just do a while idx minus minus. We're going to traverse, we're gonna uh, increment that cur node. So cur node is gonna equal cur node.next, okay? And now we're going to increment the cur node to cur node.next as many times as the idx decrements. And when this idx hits zero, the cur node will be in the correct position. And so all we have to do here is just return cur node.val. Okay, so that will get us our, our current or the value at the given index. And just this line of code right here, all this is doing, it's decrementing it uh, as, as it goes down, um, as the IDX goes down. It just keeps on decrementing it until it hits zero. Zero will coerce to falsy and it'll break out of this while loop, okay? If it is at zero, like let's say the input is zero, then it's just going to be cur node. It's gonna be this.head.next and then it will never even go into this while loop and we'll just go ahead and return the cur dot, uh, node val. Okay, so now we want to add at the head. What do we want to do here if we're adding at the head? Okay, so first what we want to do is we want to get our previous and our next. Okay, so what is going to be our previous? Well, it's just going to be our head node. So we can say let prev equals this dot head, let next equals this dot head dot next. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we are going to create a new node and set those pointers to prev and next. Because you can see here, we do have an input for prev and we have an input for next. So here we can say let node equals new node, the value which is in our input, prev which is going to be this dot head, and next which is going to be this dot head dot next. Okay, so now we have created our new node and the new node is pointing to the correct places, but now we need to just update our prev and next. So we just wanna say prev.next is gonna equal node and next.prev is gonna equal node. And lastly, we just wanna increment this.length by one since we're adding. So if this is confusing, let's just, let's just kinda of go over this. Let's say we have Let's say we have a linked list here and we have our head node and that is pointing to one, which is pointing to two, which is pointing to three, and this is pointing to a tail, okay? Now, this is a doubly linked list, so we're also gonna have a previous pointer here, a previous pointer here, a previous pointer here, and a previous pointer here, okay? And so what we wanna do, let's say we wanna add in 0.5, okay? And we wanna insert it at the zeroth index. So it's gonna come in, this is gonna be zero, one, two, three. 
um, and we want to add it at the head. Okay, so it's gonna be at the zeroth index. So what are we gonna do here? Well, first we're gonna create a new node. We're gonna set our previous here at this head and we're gonna uh, set our next at the um, element that is, that is the previous head. Okay, and so now what we're gonna do here is we have our previous, which is our head, and we have our next, which is the first element from the head. Now this new node, we're gonna set the previous and the next on the instantiation. So we're gonna create this new node here. I'll just erase it and make it a little more clear here. Okay, give me one second. Okay, so here we have a new node and it's gonna be 0.5 and its previous is pointing there and its next is pointing there on the instantiation. Okay, so the new node is in the correct position. Now we just need to update the previous pointers here. These pointers right here, we need to update them so they point to the new node. And that's what we're doing in uh, these lines of code right here. Previous.next is gonna equal node, next.previous is gonna equal node. So we have, we have this previous.next. Let me clear this out so it's a little more clear. Okay, so we're gonna have this previous.next, which is going to point over here. And uh, this, is, this is the one right here. And our next.previous, which is also gonna point to the new node. Okay, so you can see now, right over here, this new node has inserted itself where that head is. Okay, and this same logic we're gonna do with the tail, add at index, delete at index. It's the same type of logic. <clears throat> so here, add at tail, we're gonna say let prev is gonna equal this dot tail dot prev. Okay, and let next is gonna equal this dot tail. Okay, and then we just wanna do let node equals new node which takes in the value. We just add in the prev and the next because we already saved it at a variable. And then all we do is update our prev and next. So we say prev dot, prev dot next is gonna equal node and next dot prev is gonna equal node and this dot length increments. Okay, it's the same logic that we did for add at head. It's just that our previous is gonna be our this.tail.prev. If we're adding here at the tail, we're gonna set that previous to be right here and our next to be right there. And then let's say we wanna add in, um, so let me also erase this here. There's no three here. There's no value on the tail. So it's just gonna be one and two. Um, and so what we're gonna have here is let's say we have um, uh, the value three point, let's say we have four, right? Then we're gonna create a new node, set the, the uh, previous of that node to that previous variable and set the next to the next. And then we just have to rearrange those arrows right there and have them point up to that new node. Same thing we did for add to head, we're just doing for tail, except we're doing it at the end. Okay? So now let's jump over to add at index. Okay, and we can see here at add at index, add the value val before the index node of in a linked list. If the index equals the length of the linked list, then the node will be appended at the end of the linked list. Okay, so first we want to just check, is it in the range? So if IDX is less than zero or IDX is greater than uh, this dot length, okay, we just want to return null. So if it's out of range, we want to just go ahead and take care of that. Now, if IDX equals this dot length, what do we want to do? We just want to add at the tail, right? 
if the index equals the length of the linked list, the node will be appended to the end of the linked list. Okay, so here we just do this dot add at tail. Go ahead and put in that value and then just return. Okay. Now, if we are not there, then we need to add at the index. And so what do we want to do if we want to add at the index? Well, we want to have the previous and we want to have the next. Okay. And so we can just go ahead and say let prev equals this dot head. Uh, let we don't even have to do next. Let's just go ahead and get the prev. So we can say while idx minus minus prev is going to equal prev dot next. Okay, now we get the next. Let next equals prev dot next dot next. Okay, and now we just go ahead and create our new node. So we say let node equals new node. We'll have the val. And we just update, we just add in our prev and our next. So prev and next. Okay. And now that same logic, we're just going to go ahead and say prev.next is going to equal node. And next.prev is going to equal node. And since we're adding, we're just going to increment this dot length. Okay. So what's happening here? It's the same logic that we did for uh, add at head and add at tail. We're just going and inserting in that note. First, we're grabbing the previous, and then we're going and grabbing the next, and then we're just inserting that node, and then we're updating the pointers to the previous and the next to point to the node. That's all we're doing. Okay, so we we'll jump over here to delete uh, at index. So here we just again want to check if we are not in the range or if we're in a, it's a valid index. So if idx is less than zero or idx is greater than or equal to this dot length, we want to return null. Okay. Uh, this next right here is actually just going to be one next. Okay, let's just make sure we got this logic right. Um, we have our previous, which is our this dot head. That's going to go all the way up to the previous node to the index we want to insert. The next is going to be previous dot next, and then we're going to insert that node. Correct. Okay. So here we are at delete at index, and we have gone through our base case, so it is in the range. If it is in the range, then we want to get our previous. So let prev equal uh, this dot head. Okay, and now we just want to increment um, through our list. So while idx minus minus prev is going to equal prev dot next. Okay. And now all we want to do is just get the next. So we can say let next is going to equal prev dot next dot next. It's going to be the one over. And then we just update these pointers. Okay. So we can say uh, prev dot next equals next and next dot prev equals prev. And then we do this dot length minus minus. Okay, and that should delete it. Let's go ahead and run this code and see if we got this working. Okay, and we're good. Okay, so again, this 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 question is like walking through a minefield. As you can see, there's a lot of code. We have almost 89 lines of code for this question. But if we go meticulously through each method and really be clear about what we're doing, we're just moving around pointers. So, you know, when we when we deal with these linked list problems, a lot of the complexity is really just around making sure we keep track of the pointers and know um, the correct direction that we're pointing them as we traverse through the list. So that is uh, link um, leak code 707 design a linked list. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.